Hi everyone, I'm Jill Hobbs with my next video. Teddy's Patchwork Heart, a delightful digi stamp by Kim McFarlane from Cuddly Budley. And I am using Decoart Americana acrylic paint. All relevant links are in the description box. This includes previous videos which new painters will find very useful. Follow the step-by-step -step tutorial and paint with me. I've already sponged three coats of Renaissance Brown to achieve an opaque coverage. Opaque means no background showing and an even all over colour. Centre the tracing and transfer the outline of each section. to be base coated to an opaque finish. Lots of thin coats of paint gives a smoother finish and dry thoroughly between each coat of paint. I use a hair dryer on a low heat setting for quickness. Use honey brown for the teddy. Deep burgundy for the hat and baby pink for the heart. Load a flat or angle brush with paint and start away from the edge. It is surprising how far you can push this paint around. Lay the paint down and work it out to the edges. Reload when needed. If only a small amount of paint is needed, corner load the brush.
coat is rough and uneven, but the base coat colour has been covered. When painting the other coats of paint, it is very easy to go over the outside edges of the first coat. I used dampened cotton buds to wipe away the wet paint. If I didn't, the design would grow in size and shape. coat. It is still a little rough and uneven. Continue painting layers of paint and dry thoroughly between each one. This is the third coat. The hat is opaque. Teddy's not perfect but will be okay and the heart needs at least one more coat. Two more coats on the heart were needed to obtain opaque coverage. Rub out any transfer lines that are still visible. Realign tracing on each section and transfer the next painting guidelines. Heart, white transfer will not show. Pencil over the patchwork lines on the reverse of the tracing. Flip it over and transfer. Lighten these transferred lines with a rubber. Lay 
laying down the shading with the 1 8 deer foot and dark chocolate. Densely stipple the areas on the teddy that are underneath and some of the edges where you want to create dimension and the sole of the right foot and dry. Remaining stippling is done using the quarter deer foot brush. Load the flat area of the deer foot brush and tap on a paper towel to remove the wetness of the paint. This will give a finer fur stippo compared to the sheep stippo in an earlier video. Ensure you rinse out the brush after each colour and dry thoroughly. With honey brown, stipple the shaded areas to soften. Avoid the sole of the right foot, but stipple around the inside edge to create a fluffy fur effect and dry. Teddy and opaque stipple the muzzle.
antique white stipple a slightly smaller area. This is the areas of honey brown base coat that was not shaded plus the muzzle and a light stippo into the darker areas. stipple a smaller area. Just like a wedding cake the layers get smaller at the top. Finally with light buttermilk, the top of the wedding cake, stipple the areas on top, the muzzle, hands and top of the feet. tracing and transfer the eyes. Pencil over the reverse of the tracing for nose and mouth.
using the liner brush and lamp black paint in these details and dry With a stylus and white, dot highlights in the eyes and a little dash on the top of the nose and dry. Now we start the hat. With a number four round brush and cranberry wine, we will base coat the hat band. Before round and black plum, paint the underside of the hat. Use a flat or angled brush when floating shading and highlights. Using black plum, float shading on hat band above the rim and on the hat above the hat band and dry. Mauve, float highlight on top of hat, top of hat band and top of hat brim and dry.
start. Use a flat or angle brush and we start by glazing the segments as follows. If glaze is uneven, smooth it out with a clean and dry deer foot brush. Top right and bottom left segments, a brush mix of deep burgundy and glazing medium and dry. around the edges and dry. right segments is cranberry wine with the glazing medium and dry. around the edges and dry. with this one. I'm going to take it off and start again.
center heart with white and glazing medium. Actually white too, titanium white. dry. tracing and transfer the heart edgings. brush. Brush mix glazing medium and white and paint the frilly edging and then dry. brush, side loaded with white, float the outside edges of this frill. These are C strokes. or cocktail stick, add dots of white on the edge of the frill. Dry thoroughly. The last thing you want to do is to smudge these dots. Whoopsie.
tracing and freehand small dots with a pencil. One dot marks the centre for the stir roses and two dots side by side for the hearts. With the handle of the liner brush and deep burgundy, place two dots of paint side by side and pull the paint down to a point. Roses, handle of liner brush, three dots of paint, wipe brush after each colour, cranberry wine, baby pink and white and place them together in a triangular group. Starting in the middle, create a spiral effect. with arbor green freehand heart-shaped leaves around the roses and dry. Edging. With a number four round brush, brush mix glazing medium and white. Freehand the edging design. Start at the heart point and adjust the size of the last few segments when you join them up.
flat or angled brush, side load in white and float the inside edges just like the frill around the heart. Then finally add the small white dots with a small stylus or cocktail stick. I love stippling teddies. These three are all the same but each one is unique. Such cute characters to paint. I hope you enjoy this project as much as I do. And until next time, happy painting! <laughs>